Um, I really want to spread e-bike, the love of e-bikes, but I don't want to do it throughout every make and model of e-bike because a lot of people are getting, you know, getting a bad opinion of my industry because they're buying bikes off the off the internet and then they have no support and they feel like the whole industry is, is out to get them and they're not. My industry, real brick and mortar shops love working with the community. They love getting butts on bikes. They want us, I want people to buy good bikes, not cheap bikes. You buy this bike, you're gonna love it. You're gonna enjoy your experience for years to come. You buy a direct consumer bike and no matter what those reviews say or how good you think that warranty is, someone's gotta touch that bike and a lot of bike shops right now don't wanna touch it because that's our competition and they're, they're, we've gotta be liable for the crap that they put out. I don't, wanna, I, don't, I don't want you to buy crap and then I'm the last one to touch it and I get blamed for it, so. Think about buying Big Sur, think about this brand, Ima. Keep an eye. Well, hey, this is Bart from Bike Squad YouTube, and I have got the Ima Big Sur Sport. So this is a, this is a really cool e-bike. There's a lot of e-bikes out on the market right now, that's for sure. I own a bicycle shop called Biloxi Bicycle Works. Um, we're using a GoPro, so you probably can't see the logo on the back of my shirt. But I am a, an e-bike mechanic. I also have a brick and mortar store. And I deal with a ton of e-bikes coming through my repair shop. All different makes, all different brands. So many that I, I can't keep track of all of them. There's so many brands out on the market right now. And I do deal with people that have done a lot of research on the internet and bring in these e-bikes that I've never heard of. It, it's crazy how many of these bikes are out there. Um, why is this one special? Why is this one different? Why am I doing a review on this if I own a brick and mortar shop? Um, it's because I am very picky about what I sell in my shop. I bought my building on this downtown Biloxi, Mississippi. You can kind of see the casinos in the background. That's the Beauvage. That's the Gulf of Mexico. And my bike shop is about a block up the road here on Howard Avenue. That's how I make my living is by, you know, running a bike shop. E-bikes are taking over. I do think e-bikes are going to make the world a better place. But I also am getting a real bad taste in my mouth for consumer direct e-bikes. And that's because I'm the mechanic that these people have to drop their bikes off to. And I hear all these stories about no customer service, not being able to get a part. I bought this bike and it broke. Um, things aren't tuned up right. I mean, I, I hear it every day. I'm, I'm, today's Tuesday. And I've probably heard this story 20 times today about consumer direct models. Now, I've only chosen to sell one brand of hub drive throttle based bike out of my shop. Um, this is brand number two. And believe me, I get calls from e-bike companies all week long saying, hey, we've got this great product. We want you to sell us in your store. And I, I don't just because I've got to support my customers and my business after the sale i've got to support my customers and my business for 17 plus years just to pay for my building so i can't sell stuff that's going to be here today gone tomorrow even if they give you this awesome promise on their website we're a fantastic company um i'm sorry i've seen a lot of fantastic companies especially we're in we're in march of 2024 the bicycle industry is in trouble and a lot of it is because of consumer direct models giving us a bad name um they sell these bikes and then they disappear and people are without parts and they're without service they're without warranties why do i think a mia ima i say it wrong all the time it's ima um and the big sir why all of a sudden do i think that this is going to be a company that sticks around for a while well i've met their reps i've done my research they are part of Bafang, so they're in the same factory as Bafang. They're, they're one, of the, one of the biggest mobility companies in the world. They're using Bafang motors, Bafang wiring harnesses, Bafang controllers, and they're using the right cell. So um, it's an LG 21700, which is a new style battery cell. It's what Tesla's using in their cars. Um, there's a lot of things I like as a bicycle me mechanic. Access to the control modules. Um, good brakes, good components, stuff that I know, stuff that I recognize in the bicycle industry. And their relationship with Bafang, the motor company. Um, 
they are putting out a good product at a good price almost too good of a price this this is the what's called the big sur sport it's under two thousand dollars um you know you can go on the internet i was doing a little research yesterday and started getting all the stuff on my google feed about high bike and some of these other brands and i'm not cutting down the brand high bike but less than a thousand dollars for a thousand watt motor in this bath i uh, don't really have a good opinion of those bikes because um i've got one in my repair facility right now and you, it's it's not a pretty situation for that customer um the bike actually came with the with the protector of the derailleur stuck up like this um where it's not even protecting the derailleur it's a very very thin derailleur hanger i can see you know there's a this is a shimano atlas um this is a, a nicer derailleur with an oversized pulley and a and a short cage um there's a lot to these bikes and i'm not going to go ever over every spec of the bike but there's a reason that i feel good selling this off my porch um i've got to be there for my customers after the sale i've got to be there for my customers years from now because i didn't start this bike shop for it to end two or three years later i started this bike shop so i have a career going into my my later years i'm 54 years old now i've already done a career as an accountant i've been a bicycle enthusiast my lifetime and now i'm living my dream and i own a bicycle shop and the bicycle industry has changed because of this stuff so rather than working on trex cannondale specialized you know the bikes that i grew up riding and racing i'm i'm, I'm working on e-bikes and now we're starting to make our decision to stop working on consumer direct e-bikes um this company supports bike shops that's important they came to me and said hey if you're a dealer we're not going to be selling our product direct to a consumer um the consumer is going to have to buy through a bike shop so now that does two two things it lets me as a bike shop hold ima and this company accountable for their components for their quality for their workmanship um it also gives my customers a place to bring their bike back to they can work on their bike um ima has promised me spare parts um if ima can't produce this shimano derailleur for me as a warranty something warranty i can buy that shimano derailleur from from shimano um there's a lot of parts on here that i can buy outside of I'm a, here's one right here a tetro brake Te that's, this is important there's a lot of brakes on the market this bike actually has a tetra name brand brake that means i have a brake kit repair for it i've got i've got uh the, every brake kit has it seems to have a different thread nipple it's not like a car where you open up you know open up your zerk and close your dirt zerk and pump it up you need to syringe to screw into it and a cup and you've got a, i mean when you bleed a brake off a bike it's it's much different and it says mineral oil on it that's really good it's not dot fluid so i have parts i have tools to work on this bike um and that's important to me so enough about the company i'm a more to that as my relationship develops with them but there's a there's a reason why i'm selling this i also sell aventon aventon is another brand it's the only other brand of hub drive throttle bike i have i i am a cannondale dealer i'm a trek dealer i was a specialized dealer for a long time um a turn i i deal with stuff that has shimano motors bros motors bosch motors um when i'm dealing with a buffang motor a hub drive motor i'll deal with buffang but there's a lot of off brands that i don't want to deal with um uh, my hands are tied liability wise as far as a component burns out on uh most of the time it's a wiring harness or something i can't go splice a wire yeah i can work a voltmeter and i can splice wires i've been an electrician before but there's a liability issue if it's not a factory wiring harness something plug and play i don't want to touch it because i don't want to be blamed for a fire or something later so there's that's all uh, it's for a whole nother video but just know that when you're dealing with buffang buffang good batteries and a wiring harness that was made by buffang it's going to be solid stuff and i shouldn't have a problem with it in the first place and if i do um i know who to go to get replacement parts from buffang they're the they're the best when it comes to these hub drive motors and as an e-bike mechanic i'm qualified to say that i work on e-bikes every day 
Uh, last week I did 70 hours in the bicycle shop and a lot of that was dedicated to fixing e-bikes. Um, what I like about selling this is I shouldn't have to work on it. I should go out, the customer should be happy. Every time I've got to work on an e-bike that I sell, it costs me an hourly wage. Either if I fix it or if my mechanics fix it, <clears throat> I'm having to pay a mechanic to fix it. So I like selling things that go out and stay out. Um, I have a feeling with these bikes, and I don't have a long history with these bikes, but I'm starting to sell, sell quite a few of them. I sold them to my friends, I've sold them to my neighbors, I've sold them to my um, to customers, and I wouldn't sell a product to a customer that can walk back up onto my porch if I didn't believe in that product. So, so just know this is uh, this is the Big Sur Sport. Let me just talk a little bit about it. It does have 203 millimeter brakes hydraulic disc brakes that's important when you need to stop these things they're not abs controlled and they're a bicycle and having a good hydraulic brake a 203 millimeter brake makes a difference i'm a 150 pound guy but i sell a lot of these to guys this is a 400 pound rating on it so you can be a 400 pound guy believe me when you're trying to slow this thing down quick you want good brakes these are tektro brakes so it's a name brand that i know and trust in the industry i see a lot of stuff on these other e-bikes believe me when you're buying an e-bike for a thousand dollars they're skimping on parts somewhere and the, where, where they're skimping is is every part you can put on there cheap derailers cheap brakes cheap, cheap parts um amia ima and big sur this is a brand this is a big sur sport so this is a the 20 inch model it's got a 20 inch by four 20 inch diameter by four inch tire it's a smaller form factor this is a good bike if you're traveling in a motorhome, something that's not as big, something that you can throw in the back of your pickup truck, you can throw in your motorhome, you can throw in your bike rack and take around. Now, I'm a 5'9 guy. This only comes in one size. At 5'9, and I love the BMX style handlebars. A lot of times what people come, they ask if they, we can raise the handlebar on their bike, and a lot of times you can't because if you don't understand what a direct mount uh, head stem is, that means it's directly attached to the top of your fork crown there's no adjustment on this um having a high handlebar that means there's already cables here there's a lot of people that want this their bars raised but there's not enough cable and that's the problem is is a lot of it's the cable you they're hydraulic brake lines um once again i don't splice into electrical cables because of liability this already comes with a high handlebar my friend is 6'2 he was just test riding this bike of course it was a little small for him but it's something he wants to use when he goes on vacation so he can park his motorhome and go into town and go get something to eat at the restaurant without having to pull up his whole motorhome. He can ride this bike comfortably for 20 miles and be fine. Uh, it's not something he wants to spend all day, every day on. But with this style handlebar too, I can use, I can pendulum this handlebar out and I can make this bike actually longer from the seat to the stem is going to be the same. But with this style handlebar, I can roll this handlebar forward and make this bike a little bit longer for him. So. Now the 20 inch the big sur sport is a smaller model but great for what a lot of people want is just exploring exploring a city and speaking of this city biloxi mississippi is a great city to explore on an e-bike um, i do it all the time i live here and i love riding my bike here uh, so if you want a cool place to come ride your e-bikes uh, come to biloxi bicycle works that's my little bike shop i'd love to show you where to ride or take you for a ride um, that's another one once again another video this one is basically on the big sur sport this is in their blue color this bike only comes in one size that does have a 750 watt hub motor that can go 20 miles an hour but you can go 28 if you pedal it so 28 and that's done through a nice torque sensor and once again they've got a good a good threaded bottom bracket in this so i've seen a lot of bottom brackets wear out in these cheap e-bikes and there's no replacement bearings or replacement parts and the threads are uh, a, a thread and a, and a width that you just can't replace with a regular buy something off my shelf in my bike shop. So be careful what you buy. Be careful with direct to consumer bikes. And I'm only saying that because I deal with this every day. Um, customers, not of mine, they bought the bike, they skipped the bike shop and they bought the bike somewhere else. I'm not mad at them for it but there's a I can't fix them bikes and me trying to get a hold of that company to try to get parts or or some kind of service or or help I I don't want to wait on hold for 45 minutes to an hour and get passed from one person from one person to another to try to find out a technical specification on a bike um, 
and believe me i've learned my lesson not to get in the middle of that so if you buy or bike direct to consumer just realize that you're dealing with that company and the, the bicycle shop is not going to try to go to high bike and talk to their engineers no one's no no one's on the phone there to, to help us out so it puts me in a, in a weird situation i want to help the customer but i also need to turn a profit i can't turn a profit if i'm wasting two or three hours on a phone just trying to get the specifications of a bottom bracket uh, shell um once again that's a whole nother video this is on the big sur sport buy these from a bicycle shop i think you have to buy these from a bicycle shop i think i saw a couple companies maybe selling these online um but they're not sold directly from ima so i don't, I don't quite know all the ins and outs of that i just know i'm a dealer i'm a brick and mortar i'm in biloxi mississippi you can walk under my porch um right now you can't see a whole lot of these bikes because they're in short supply so if you drive in to biloxi bicycle works to see these bikes at the moment i've three of them arrived on my porch today and all three are already pre-sold so um it is a real brick and mortar shop in biloxi mississippi 993 howard avenue that's how we make our living um so we deal in bicycles and now e-bikes are really taking over i've only sell a couple of these out of my shop a couple brands i am a trek dealer so i love to sell trek e-bikes i believe in those bikes but trek doesn't make a whole lot of throttle e-bikes uh, with a hub motor so this kind of is looking at a whole different a uh, whole different market and i do want to be able to service that type of market so come into my bike shop ask about these um I think this is a great company for a lot of reasons and I am an e-bike mechanic so like I said there's a lot of things on this bike that I like I like the frame the frame is a smooth welded frame aesthetically it just looks good they put a nicer seat they're using a MIK system on the rack and right here it's it's in kilograms it says 27 kilograms I, this is America this is Mississippi so I believe that's around 50 plus pounds um, so you can put a lot of weight on this rack um, you know, it's got an 8-speed Shimano uh, cassette on the back, and it did say Shimano on it somewhere. Well, it's a Shimano derailleur. 8-speed uh, cassette, nothing fancy. 52-tooth um, chain ring in the front. Um, you know, so most of the time, if you're going to go 20 or 28 miles an hour, I spin. I'm a high-cadence guy, but most people are probably just going to be using a throttle for that kind of stuff, so anyway think about uh think about this bike if you're looking if you're you're comparing other bikes on the internet um don't always go for price point i believe this is about two thousand dollars don't spend less than that on junk at least with this company you're going to be able to have a bike shop you know help you service this bike um i i, I have a direct contact to my rep and there's another brand i sell that i don't have a uh, direct contact to my rep right now and that's kind of making me aggravated so that's one of the reasons i you know i opened my eyes to to this company here but a lot of it is because they do support bike shops um that's what i believe in and i think we all need to support everybody needs a bike shop in their neighborhood and if everybody goes direct to consumer they're not going to have a bike shop in their neighborhood if we stop working on direct to consumer bikes people will stop buying them because you don't have a local bike shop to work on them and you can't take these to the department stores so um i employ citizens right here in Biloxi. So when you're buying direct to consumer, I don't know where you think your money is going, but it's not going to your local community. So that once again, whole nother video. Bar from Bicycle Rider YouTube. I do think that the Big Sur Sport is heads and tails above a lot of the other competitors out there. One, because I just, I know the components. It's got an 80 millimeter uh, suspension fork on it and it is an unbranded suspension fork. So um, not the highest, don't go bash don't go bash your mountain bike trail with it but it will give you some comfort off-road uh i don't know how wide these tensions are they look like maybe a 30 32 millimeter wide looks like a good fork but it's definitely as a as a as a mountain bike racer i mean we spend more for a fork for suspension than this whole bike cost so it's good for the streets you know it's good for light trail but like i said i wouldn't go jump this off a mountain bike trail and expect that fork to hold up but once again you're getting a, a two thousand dollar bike um, I did notice it's got a lot of power, so when you hit this throttle button here, or you put it in level five, this thing seems to have a lot of a lot of power. So be careful on these things. Big seat, lights. Any questions on this bike? You know, hit me up. I do sell these at Biloxi Bicycle Works, and I don't have a whole lot of them on the floor. So I'm just doing a little video here so people 
see what we have four bolts on the stem here two bolts here holding this handlebar on why do i mention that because some of these bikes are coming with an old school quill stem and at 28 mile an hour you don't want a handlebar coming out of your stem so um check these bolts that's what when we build this at the at our bike shop we torque every bolt on this bike so if your bike is coming like a lot of do we we adjust the derailleur so this derailleur is not going to skip the chain's not going to skip um it's not going to jump off the cog in the higher the low gear we see a lot of these problems on the direct to consumer bikes that you're not going to have on this and plus then you have us to tell you the tricks of how to make these things last um how to work them we get a lot of people to buy direct to consumer bikes and then they want to come to the bike shop and ask how how they work it i'm like every computer is a little bit different and since you you know you kind of bypassed us that's where you go to your internet based company and ask them a lot of questions um, buy this and come to my shop and deal with my real mechanics with my real salesman with me now, there's a big difference between buying from a bicycle shop and buying direct to consumer these this bike is being sold out of my bike shop and like i said people walk into my bike shop every day and expect to see walls of e-bikes no I don't have walls of e-bikes. I have a hand-picked, a few of them on the floor here and there. Um, we're just coming off a nice weekend, and most of my e-bikes got sold off the weekend. So if you came to my shop today, you'll see this one. <laughs> Sometimes less is better. Um, and I have decided to only pick two brands of hub drive throttle e-bikes. One of them is Aventon. The other one's Amiya. Uh, both 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 are good and at the moment i think amia is better than aventon for a few different reasons um but we'll see if when they when they test the sets you know that the test the time there's my mechanic over there right there he's test driving a uh amia bike right now ima i keep calling it amia it's, it's ima so he's testing a, one of the models you can see after he gets done putting it together he rides his bike up and he's riding it up and down the road and testing it out all right i rambled enough i gotta get back to the bike shop my day's not over yet and i've already done a 21 minute video on this bike but i really want people to realize what they're buying when they're buying direct to consumer and you're unless you're a mechanic or you want to end up putting it in the landfill somewhere buy from a bike shop so we can help you keep these things alive all right bart from bike rider youtube if you like what i do you know subscribe to us on on youtube and that lets, lets me you know justify coming out here and spending 20 minutes out here making a video um i really want to spread e-bike the love of e-bikes but i don't want to do it throughout every make and model of e-bike because a lot of people are getting you know getting a bad opinion of my industry because they're buying bikes off the off the internet and then they have no support and they feel like the whole industry is, is out to get them and they're not my industry real brick and mortar shops love working with their community they love getting butts on bikes that when i want people to buy good bikes not cheap bikes you buy this bike you're going to love it you're going to enjoy your experience for years to come you buy a direct consumer bike and no matter what those reviews say or how good you think that warranty is someone's got to touch that bike and a lot of bike shops right now don't want to touch it because that's our competition and they're there's we've got to be liable for the crap that they put out i don't want i don't i don't want you to buy crap and then i'm the last one to touch it and i get blamed for it so Think about buying Big Sur. Think about this brand, IMA. Keep an eye on them. They're going to be a big player in the market coming up. So not a whole lot of them out there yet, but look for them to come. I really like the BMX style handlebar. That's awesome. All right. Bart from Bicerider, YouTube. Over now.